I'm trying to focus on women who I encountered in various settings in Iran at that time. There are images that stand out in particular. It's kind of my signature photograph of this little boy and girl. They're both holding on to this photograph of Ayatollah Khomeini. If you look beyond this captivating pair is the men in the back. They're laughing and they're smiling and they're pointing back at these two children. I find that this one kind of represents, you know, what was happening in the psychology as well as, you know, the politics of the time. There's also an image of this, this woman who's dressed in this black and white chador, and she's holding her young daughter, who's probably three years old, and it's a very intimate portrait of the two of them, but they're standing in front of this makeshift housing accommodation. And, you know, it's a, it's a photograph that has a universality to it that's really important. And then coupled with that is one of this refugee family that we interviewed. It's just very telling about how, people, how people's lives are really affected by, by the politics of their nations. I was given the opportunity on two occasions to photograph Ayatollah Khomeini. And, you know, I had to take my scarf and above my scarf put on a chador and, you know, try to figure out how I shoot underneath this, this cloth that I'm holding together by grabbing it with my teeth. So I look at that picture and I, you know, I go on this emotional, like kind of time travel. I was, in a sense, they enabled me to go and see what that experience is and what it meant to those people. I think that it's important for us to try to understand our differences and be tolerant of people's differences, because by understanding each other, then we can not only help each other, but we can also better understand ourselves. By showing these images, I'm trying to help the American people understand who the Iranians are and why they took those actions. They're trying to understand what's happening within their country and to make change. Where I think this ex what this exhibit comments on is that change has to come from within. 